And speaking of leadership, obviously we saw over the weekend the uh, the voice to parliament went down, but you've got the states have got their own plans. Um, New South Wales isn't ruling out its own voice to parliament, um, even though there was uh, obviously a clear no vote in New South Wales. You've got the LNP in Queensland now is starting to um, backtrack on its its support for a path to treaty. It has they're, backtracked. They're, they're obviously reading the room. Then down in Victoria, you've got um, John Pursuto saying it's, it's too soon to commit to treaty down there. So, again, they're starting to read the room. <laughs> they, haven't, they haven't done the, the grid over the top of the electoral yeah. results yet and gone, <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that's what's going to change minds here. They, they, everyone wants to gesture at the moment that they are kind of interested in mm. this because it feels like a good thing to do when you're on the left of politics to sort of say, we're going to defy this because we know what's right. But eventually, as they are in Queensland because they have an election coming right up behind them, yep. they're looking at the grid and they're looking at where voted no and which seats we've got to hold and they're just going to say, forget this. They're not going to pursue it. Well, the one that gets me, Bronwyn, is South Australia, because they're the only state so far that has legislated a voice to Parliament, and they're going to have elections on the membership in March next year. Um, and the Premier, Peter Malinowskis, and the Attorney-General, Kaya Ma, have both said this is completely different to the, uh, the federal voice to Parliament. We're going ahead with it anyway. Well, South Australia had the second highest no vote in the country. And I would contend that part of that is because they've already legislated one themselves. I mean, surely, if you uh, cared about the will of the people, you'd, you'd heed that, wouldn't you? Yes, of course you would. Of course you would. And the backtracking that's going on now, and Melanaskis, of course, backtracked himself. He was supposed to have it all in place before the referendum. Yes, and, suddenly, and then they changed oh, no, that. Oh, no, it'll be 2024, <clears throat> or maybe 2028, I don't know. But uh, the people have made it very clear. And they have made it clear that it is no to the Makarata, mm. which doesn't mean coming together. It means agreement making and also to treaty. And it, it's quite plain, you know, this is, the, this is the 26 pages. And if you go to the section on treaty... You're telling me it's not said, one page, hey, John? Absolutely. Look, You've read it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Hang on, the PM didn't read it. <laughs> right. Bronwyn has. Absolutely. Look, treaty, it says here. And then it says treaty would be the vehicle to achieve self-determination, autonomy and self-government. And then it says, <laughs> a treaty could include a proper say in decision-making, the establishment of a truth commission, reparations, a financial settlement such as seeking a percentage of GDP, um, the re resolution of land, water and resource issues, recognition of authority and customary law. And the constitutional amendment could be the negotiating framework to give constitutional status to any concluded treaty. No state can do that. No That's wonder why the, the Prime Minister so didn't want to read it. Exactly. <laughs> I noticed she got the autographed edition too. <laughs> <laughs> How can you have a treaty? With yourself. With well, yourself. Correct. I mean, we're, that's the we're, bit that's... You know, we're, we're a bit far gone for that. Perhaps I'm simple. I think. <laughs> um, 